I think one of the worst things we ever did in the product development process is we uh, got in this pattern of just giving uh, developers specs. Here's the specs, go build it. Here's the specs, go build it. Here's the specs, go build it. And uh, I think that's a shame, first of all, because I think uh, developers are some of the most creative problem solvers in the world. Uh, but when you always are hiding the why behind what you're doing, I think that's just damaging for the product overall. But you, as you're building these things, you can start to observe, OK, why and what? Like, what keeps, up com what keeps coming up over and over again? Browsing the web, what kind of questions come up all the time? And so I just, this morning, I just grabbed a few. Like, should I learn Laravel as a framework after being a, I don't even, what's a PHP procedural program? I don't know what that is. But, you know, people are asking, is, is Laravel too complicated for beginners? Learning PHP in Laravel, uh, I'm a competent computer user. You can see there's some struggle, right? I love this one. Ask HN, I'm starting a new job as a PHP developer tomorrow. <laughs> And we're laughing, but we can feel this guy's pain, right? He's like, shit. <laughs> and he says, this part here, is there anything you could recommend? I haven't worked with PHP in years, and I'm worried about my performance. And this is the guy that goes out and buys Laracast that night and like watches all the videos, right? And so, yeah, Jeffrey comes along with a solution to all of this struggle. The struggle that was like, clearly just out there for all of us to see, right? And maybe some of you missed it. Like you were a PHP developer and you're like, man, I really want to learn Laravel, and there was just like nothing and nothing and nothing, and all of a sudden, Jeff comes up with a solution, you're like, that is perfect, right? 